Hi everyone, my name is Mangesh Sengapu. I'm an engineer at Microsoft Support. I'm going to show you how to create a WordPress website through the Azure portal. Alright, so I've already logged in. I'm going to click on plus. Now here I'm going to type in WordPress. So it's actually listed here in my recent apps, but I want to show you in case it's not in yours. This is how the easiest way to find it. Uh, there's also available through the web and mobile option as you can see through here but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and click on WordPress I'm gonna click on create so once I do that it's gonna prompt me to enter in some information I'm gonna give it a name my new WordPress app it's taken, what about site? That looks to be okay. I'm gonna create an, ex, uh, use an existing resource group. Actually, for the purpose of this video, let me go ahead and create a new one. New WordPress site RG. So for the database options, there's two providers you can choose from. Uh, and information is given here clicking this uh, little eye icon here so your options are cleardb using our microsoft vendors database as a service and the other one is mysql in-app which is in preview and it's meant for uh, non-production uh, sites it runs locally with the web server um, so for this example i you know i'm totally fine with mysql in-app i want a non-production database so for the app service plan, I'm going to create uh, a new one. And just to keep things simple, I don't plan on creating other sites within this app service plan. So I'm just going to call it my new WordPress site. ASP. It didn't like the underscore, that's why we saw that. Okay, I'm going to keep it in the same location. Pricing tier, I'm going to actually scale this down to basic. Because because it's in development, non-production, I don't need something too fancy at this, at this point in time. Alrighty, so that's it. I'm going to click on Create. And you can see it's val been validated and now it's actually deploying. Okay, so it's finished deploying. So I'm, I'm looking at the notification here. When I'm clicking on it, it's actually going to take me to my WordPress site in the Azure portal. So here I'm going to click on Browse. And Browse will take me to the actual site for installation. So I'm selecting the language, entering the, my, my site's information. I'm going to keep this password and my email. And I'm clicking on install. And that is all there is to it. You've successfully created a WordPress website on Azure within a couple minutes. Thank you for watching.